M Drummer's Rhythm System is currently the most advanced in the world. In this tutorial I will show you the structure of each rhythm, and how to edit them. A rhythm is a set of loops of several types. You should already know the meaning of each of them. If you select a key, we call it loop box. It can contain any number of loops. Every time you command M Drummer to play this loop box, it selects one. When you select the loop, it is displayed in the loop editor below and you can edit it. Now let's look at the loop editor. Each loop can contain any number of tracks with assigned drum type, which makes them all perfectly compatible. You can change order using left mouse button, or select all notes in the track using the left mouse button double click. Right mouse button shows a menu containing everything from adding and deleting tracks, to loading predefined sets of tracks. These thick lines delimit bars. These medium lines are quarter notes. And these thin ones are quantization lines. These arrows add a bar to left or right, and if you hold control, they will also duplicate the bar contents. This one deletes a bar. And this thin arrow in between shows current position. You can click on it to change it, or you can use middle mouse button and click anywhere in the loop editor. Each note in the loop has several parameters, from velocity, through probability, to level range. To get info about them, click this button for help. Use left mouse button to set the value of current parameter, or right mouse button to set nearest default value. The set of default values makes the rhythms even more compatible. There are three edit modes of loop editor, pen mode, eraser mode, and selection mode. To get detailed help, click this help button. Generally you can leave the pen mode enabled and use special keys like control or shift to perform additional actions. Use left mouse button to draw notes, right mouse button to erase them, and hold control to select notes. When some notes are selected, you change parameters of them only. Here you can set parameters of new notes. Also, if you are in selection mode, any change here affects all of the selected notes. Quantization affects created and moved notes. There are many quantization modes, probably more than you will ever need. You can enable or disable it using this button. Using this button you can quantize the entire selection. This small tracker below adjusts zoom. We finally get to the loop editor title. Using these buttons you can copy selection to clipboard and paste it to current position. Here you can remove all notes, save or load the loop, and export a WAV file containing the entire loop. and change the loop speed. This is all you need to start, but soon you will see, that there are many more interesting features hidden inside.